an Edmonton designer, who uses retired instrument strings to make fine jewelry, is making sure the legacy of music continues in more ways than one. Usually strings are replaced and the old ones thrown out. But Michelle Dolaqua is giving them a second act with heart strings jewelry. I use acoustic guitar string, electric guitar string, electric bass string, acoustic bass string, violin string, cello, viola and then I've just started doing some work with cymbals. Each type of string presents its own challenge. Each type of string responds differently to heat, pressure, and tension, Dolaqua explained. The age of it, and how tight the wind is, and how thick it is will affect what I can do with it. Sometimes I don't know until I'm working with how it's going to respond. The actual design and creation is very dependent on the string and the materials that are in the string. Dolaqua started with guitar and bass, with shops like Myra's Music, Acoustic Music Shop, Axe Music and Long and McQuaid saving old strings for her. Then, she expanded her repertoire to include orchestral instruments. Read more, Edmonton Symphony Orchestra names new conductor and he's only 24. They just look like a really interesting and beautiful raw material, she said. I decided to approach the symphony with the idea that I would get strings from the musicians in the orchestra, make jewelry, sell those pieces at some of the performances, and use some of the funds from that as a charitable donation. Part strings jewelry can be purchased at many SO events, with part of the proceeds going to Yona. Thicker strings lend themselves to larger jewelry, like bracelets and necklaces. Finer strings are better for rings and earrings. This bracelet and necklace are part of Heart Strings Celtic Collection. Heart Strings jewelry can be purchased at many SO events, with part of the proceeds going to Yona. Dolaqua started crafting jewelry from old guitar strings. Then, she expanded to include strings from orchestral instruments. When staff with the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra, SO, heard about the idea, they thought it would be a great way to support young musicians. It just seemed perfect, said Allison Kenny Guardhouse, Vice President of Music and Engagement at the Winspear Center. It was a connection that was meant to happen that Heartstrings would find Yona and Yona would find Heartstrings. Youth Orchestra of Northern Alberta, Yona, Systema is a program offered by the ESSO. It gives kids between grade 2 and junior high group instrumental lessons five days a week. In five years, it's grown from 20 youth to 85. It's a free program but relies heavily on private donations. Read more. Edmonton's backbeat builds confidence and community through rock music. Edmonton is a very generous city, Kenny Guardhouse said. I also think that people, when they see what the kids do, they understand the value. Music is important in any child's life and we know from all the brain research that it yields all kinds of great benefits. The partnership between Yona and Heartstrings is unique, Kenny Guardhouse said, and it's one the musicians are incredibly grateful for.